Do you guys ever wonder why the Stylecraft Saber is so much better than the other Gamma and Stylecraft trimmers? You guys have been seeing me use this Saber quite a bit lately. I wanna show you guys what the answer is. And it's in this package right here. There it is. All right guys, so this is it. The one blade, that is what it's called. This changes everything. So it says scan me to be amazed. You guys can't really see, but there's two blades here. We have a DLC deep tooth blade, DLC precision blade. So you guys can scan the QR codes. I don't know what this is for. This might be like an internet uh, marketing thing, but it says add the one cutting blade to any Stylecraft or Gamma trimmer with any fixed blade for game changing performance. The one black diamond deep tooth and precision cutting blades for the crunchiest, smoothest cutting with no pulling or snagging. So that was just a little insert, guys, but you guys can't see the Sabre right here. I have been using it a lot, and I do agree. It is the crunchiest trimmer that I've heard. It does super sharp, nice lineups, and it balls out with no problem, no snagging under the neck, easily goes through a bunch of bulk, and that's why this is one of my favorite trimmers right now. All right guys, so this is what we were looking for. This is a new replacement blade. This is the slim or the smaller X-Pro blade you guys can see right here. And this is the one cutting blade. Let me get real close, guys. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but it does have super fine teeth. We'll take it out here in a second. And that is really supposed to be the difference maker. Also in the pack, guys, we have the OG Silver Gamma blade, kind of like the Detailer blade. This is what was on the hitter, I believe. And it also comes with a moving the one blade. So we can swap these out. We can basically hook up all of our Gamma Stylecraft trimmers with these new blades. And last but not least, guys, we have a another X-Pro blade. I don't believe this is the one blade. This is just another X-Pro, like I have on my header right here, and this thing is solid. So I think what we'll do is throw the one blade on here, maybe compare it to the Sabre. You guys know the header runs a little bit slower. Sabre's super powerful, but we'll go ahead and throw it on the header and see how well it performs. And guys, don't forget, if you want any Gamma or Stylecraft blades, trimmers, clippers, any of that stuff, head over to GammaPlusNA.com or StylecraftUS.com, and my code Sean Gutierrez will save you guys 10%. All right guys, so you can see the header right here. We will go ahead and take off this X-Pro blade that's on here real quick quick. Just these two screws right here, pop them off. Super easy and the blade will pop off. Go ahead and set that down. I'm going to leave this one together and then we're going to go ahead and compare these two with the other one blade. I want to see what the difference is. So you guys just peel this package apart. Boom, that fell out. Here is the one blade. We'll go ahead and set that down. Don't need that anymore. Now let's see if I can get these close for you guys and compare the two. All right guys, so here are the two blades. I don't know how well you can really tell, but this is the regular one over here. This is the one. So besides it not being zero gapped at all, if you guys look, you can see that the teeth are a little bit slimmer. You can see through and see the back teeth on this blade a little bit better where these are more triangular and kind of take up more space. So both are the X-Pro, we'll flip them over. So both blades are the X-Pro, you guys can see, not very good lighting for you guys to see the actual logos, but these are both X-Pro steel blades. But we're gonna gap this and go with the one one blade for the hitter. All right guys, so to zero gap it, we just have to loosen these two screws right here. It's just gonna allow us to move. This cutting blade is on a little slide that's on the back. I'll pull it off and show you guys if I can get it off of here. So this little black slide right here is what's gonna move around. So when you place it in this gold groove on the blade, it's gonna allow you to move the blade around. You guys can see. We're gonna push it against a hard surface, zero gap it. We'll tighten these screws back down and we'll put it on the hitter. So you guys, I like to just do it by hand. I kind of look down it, make sure it looks straight and it looks pretty good right there. It almost seems like it has a catch right here to stop it from going any further. So now with it held firmly in my fingers, I will tighten it down with the screwdriver, pull it up. I want to look down at it, guys. I kind of just look down at it from both ends, make sure that it's not overlapping. It looks good. You guys can see we have it much more zero gap now. So let's throw this on the hitter. All right guys, so super easy. There's two grooves on the back of this. We want to make sure that these, um, I don't even know what they're called. They're kind of some, just some prongs. Make sure that they go in there like that. And you hold the blade down. Quite a bit of tension on that screw, but you guys can see it will snap right there over these gold, um, I don't know what they're called. They're just holes for the screws. I'm gonna have some trouble, guys. Sometimes this is super hard to do with the camera on, staying out of the way. The camera's right in my way, kinda. But well, we got one in. So we'll get one in, we're gonna snug it down. We're not gonna do it all the way tight because we wanna make sure that we get them both in there, make sure the blade's straight, then we can tighten it all the way down. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot. This screwdriver is magnetic, so it will hold it. You can get it started. We'll snug it down. Like I said, we want to make sure that both of them are close to being snug, but not too tight. Make sure that our blade is centered and we're not going to have any issues with our zero gap. So I'm looking at it. It looks good. We can go ahead, snug these down the rest of the way. And because of those metal sleeves underneath here, guys, this blade can pretty much only go in one spot. So a lot of blades can move around on you. This one is pretty safe because it has to go over those two holes for the screws to go in. So you guys can see that's on. Moving a little slow, guys. You know the hitter moves a little slow. So we're gonna throw it on here, make sure it's charged up. We'll do a haircut with it, test it out, balding out. We'll kind of compare it to the Sabre. So, all right guys, so somehow I got confused. I actually put the regular standard cutting blade on that trimmer that you just saw. So I just swapped it out with the one cutting blade. We'll get it a little bit closer and see if you guys can tell the difference. It's hard for you guys to tell, but at the end of the teeth, 
it kind of bevels back out. So it kind of goes in like this and then back out. And on the standard cutting blade, guys, it's just a straight wedge to the bottom. So I think that is the slim part, kind of what tightens up down there at the bottom and makes this cut better. We put it on the same exact way, guys. I just didn't want to move the camera back and reset it. But this is the one blade on the X-Pro on the Absolute Hitter. Let's test it out. All right, guys, we got the hitter ready. We're gonna test it out. We're just gonna do the bald line. I normally wouldn't use it with a sharp trimmer like this, but we're gonna punch the line in with it, see how this thing balds out. Then we'll do the other side with the saber and see how that compares. So, just gonna do kind of a straight around ball fade here. Man, yep, they are, they're hitting just about like the saber is. You guys can see super, super sharp lines. Like I said, I normally wouldn't ball out like this or line, do the line like this. You guys know I use something a little bit softer, but you can see no issue balling out. Much better than the blade that I had on there. I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you guys that that probably compares to the Sabre. That's super bald. That shaver is not gonna have any problem going over it, and uh, it's not snagging or pulling like these hitters do sometimes. And uh, super bald, so, so far so good. One thing that drives me nuts is that they act like they want you to bald out this way, and that's just something that, that's, that's not how I'm gonna do it. You guys see how inconsistent that was? If my trimmer can't bald out going up like this, then I don't want it. Now this hitter does move a little bit slow. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is a low hum, super slow movement. So it might be a little better on the Evo. It's probably a little bit closer to the power of the saber trimmer, but this hitter is a little bit slow, like I said. I do like it sometimes for for certain things, like for lining up, it's definitely good. For ball now, it's a little bit slow. So let's flip to the other side, and we will do the saber and see how it compares. All right, now we'll come in with the saber. Oh, faithful guy, that's still, this is still like my go-to right now. I really like it, so you can see it's doing just as good, if not better. I think it has a little bit higher RPMs. Super bald when you balled out with it. No snagging, that's the best trimmer I've seen some, from Stylecraft yet, so no snagging, it does get super bald. We're gonna be able to do the shaver over this super easy. I'll wait for another uh, haircut that I have, guys, and we'll do, if I got a full lineup, we will do a little bit of a lineup. I might have to let somebody else test them, get you guys some clips of a lineup, but we will see. You guys see the Sabre has no problem, but so I do think it's still a little bit better than actually that blade on the hitter. But if you guys do like the hitter or the Evo, this would definitely be an upgrade to those trimmers. All right guys, we're gonna test out this Stylecraft trimmer with the one blade on it and see how this thing hits. I'm just gonna line up around his ears. We're just gonna go straight down the back of the neck at the fullest point that we can. We'll work around the ear in a nice circle. Side. Let's see how it compares to the one we just used. I know the Sabre's a beast, so. Something about it, it's just the combo, the one blade, and then the steel blade on this one. They just hit, man, I don't know. This is definitely my favorite trimmer right now. So you guys see what's sitting over here behind me that you can't see.
right guys, so that is it for my review on the one blade with the X-Pro on the hitter, guys. We did do the precision blade on my guy's hitter, and he is loving it. I will say, if you guys like the hitter, if you like the Evo, definitely do this. But if you guys haven't tried the Sabre, the Sabre is still absolutely the best trimmer from Gamma and Stylecraft. So I would definitely recommend the Sabre. But if you guys like what you have and you just want to do a quick upgrade, the one blade is absolutely an upgrade. If you guys want to check out these blades, go to GammaPlusNA.com or StylecraftUS.com. You guys can pick up these blades with the one cutter. Make sure you guys use code Shonka's hair and save 10%. So if you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up, guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're going to try out the one blade or pick up the Sabre. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got some new clippers coming and an unboxing coming soon you guys are going to want to see. Appreciate you all watching, and I will catch you guys next time.